The following is a presentation of KSL Sports. First and 12. A total roundup of BYU and Utah football at the expanded Big 12 Conference. Brought to you by Macy's Grocery Stores. Your hosts are Mitch Harper and Alex Keery on KSL News Radio and the KSL Sports Zone. Welcome on in to First and 12. Hope all of you are having a fantastic Sunday. Hope you're having a great weekend. Appreciate all of you listening to us on KSL News Radio or the KSL Sports Zone or on podcast. If you miss any part of the show, subscribe to our podcast feed on the KSL Sports app or wherever you get your podcast. This show is sponsored by Macy's Grocery Store, brought to, get, get, getting the freshest fruits and vegetables from local farms and your favorite local brands. Macy's Happy Shopping. And Alex, I know some teams around the league are feeling very happy right now. Mm. Others, not so much on this Sunday. No, and uh, let's jump in here. I mean, we've got ourselves a uh, a giant uh, Big 12 headlines to uh, to get into, so let's do it right here. Let's kick it right off. 12 headlines. The dozen storylines that shape this week of Big 12 football. Headline one. BYU stays undefeated 6 and 0, 41 to 19 over Arizona. My goodness, Kalani and his guys, they're absolutely rolling right now and uh I mean, <laughs> we're going to have a lot to talk about, of course, this week. You guys are going to have your uh, your Cougar Nation show, of course. You and Matt Biamonte on uh, KSL News Radio uh, tomorrow night. But my goodness, it's it's a ton to jump into. But BYU goes undefeated, six and zero, uh, and they're not the only ones that are undefeated in this conference. But the Arizona Wildcats are are just absolutely. I it's a head scratcher for me, Mitch. I don't know what to think about this team. That's right. I mean, their offense has been a big issue this year. You thought at a minimum, you know, even with the coaching change, their offense would be high-flying with Fafita and T-Mac. It's just not working right now. And Fafita only completed 50% of his passes. Mm. He was taking hits left and right from BYU's defense. Uh, Fafita, you know, he still had some big plays, but uh, few and far between, and that's why Arizona is reeling right now to the point where you're wondering, are they going to go to a bowl game that's a Jeez. crazy conversation considering the hype they had coming into the year. Headline number three, Iowa State had modest hype, but still no one really knew how good they would be. They remain undefeated. They took down West Virginia on the road in a, a very hostile environment. They win 28-16, to and to kind of follow that up, Alex, with headline four, Cyclones are 6-0 and for the first time since 1938. Think they could go undefeated this season? Uh, I mean... <laughs> If you're gonna if you're if you're gonna roll the dice on a team who's gonna go undefeated this year, BYU or Iowa State, I don't know what to think. But yeah, Mitch, of course you busted that one out. Nineteen thirty eight, you already knew the Cyclones were uh, <laughs> were good. We're, we, 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 I don't know what to think about this team. The top of the league right now, BYU and Iowa State, and my goodness, Utah. Is going it goes down to Arizona State and they lose. The Sun Devils might be the biggest shock in the entire Big 12 this year, and that's a, a, a conference that's been uh, surprising people across the board. But my goodness, I don't know which one it is: BYU or Arizona State. Which one shocks you the most right now? It's BYU to me because they're they're dominating teams. Arizona State still had moments when you look at their whole body work where they go on the road at Texas Tech and they struggled in that one and. You know, Texas Tech's one of the better teams. They were off this week. But, you know, Arizona State is a tough out in Tempe. Mm -hmm. And anyone that travels down there, which includes BYU in November, uh, you know, good luck trying to stop Scadaboo and and Levitt. And, you know, Levitt didn't have his best game. He was banged up in that win over Utah. So they got contributions from guys in their bench, from Kenny Dillingham and youngest Power 4 football. He's flying high right now, and as he should, because what he inherited last year from Herm Edwards, it was a dumpster fire, and he's already made ASU a really respectable team down in the desert. And for Utah, expectations were sky high for this group. Mm -hmm. A lot of it was because of Cam Rising. He twists his ankle. He was limping around. He just clearly was hobbled, and 
uh, it leaves Utah fans feeling, you know, do they have to turn the page to the next quarterback, Isaac Wilson, because Cam did not look right. Yeah, and I don't even know if Isaac Wilson is uh, is feeling 100% yeah. either. Can't tell what you're going to get with this uh, with, with this team right now. Uh, but, yes, Cincinnati, by the way, I can't tell if they're any good or if UCF is uh, is totally given up. How about – <laughs> How about Cincinnati getting the win down there at, a, at UCF? They're four and two on the year, just like we had uh, uh, planned, right? I mean, my goodness. But UCF has lost three straight, three straight after starting off the season three and zero. Oh, and uh, my goodness, UCF benching KJ Jefferson. I don't even know who EJ Colson is at quarterback for this uh, for this uh, UCF team. Mitch, please help me out here. Yeah, EJ Colson, a, a young quarterback because it hasn't been going well for uh, KJ Jefferson EJ Colson's a you know class of 2024 he's a true freshman yeah. that they started at QB and you know UCF they, they've lost games they had that loss to Colorado a few weeks back but beyond that they had six players go into the transfer portal yeah. recently it feels like it's be it's more than just the field it's Maybe a locker room dynamic from when you're seeing a mass exodus in season. Things are not going well right now for UCF, and it just only gets amplified when you're benching a heralded mm. transfer portal edition that you probably paid a pretty penny to get, and you're going to a true freshman. You wonder if Gus Malzahn is trying to almost – say a, a message that they're looking to the future going forward. Uh, some national projections have BYU and Iowa State in the Big 12 title game, uh, but also could be a two-bid league in the college football playoff. They need BYU, even maybe Texas Tech, Iowa State. Team, if you want to get two bids in this league, you got to keep having those teams winning ball games. Yeah, and probably have to have somebody undefeated or at least going into uh, into that Big 12 championship with uh, a couple of just one-loss teams, maybe that's how you're going to get the uh, the two-bid league. And of course, you, you know you have teams like Ohio State losing over the weekend, and and, and that those are the type of things where you're going to have a, a a stacked Ohio State or 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 Oregon getting into that uh, that Big Ten. You you want to see more of these teams. I think uh, Ole Miss losing over the weekend, of course, uh, adds to that jumbled mess in the SEC and. And uh, if, if LSU is going to continue to to, uh, to go forward there, I don't know what to expect. But uh, Kansas State survives Colorado. Colorado was uh, was looking absolutely ridiculous coming back. They were down 21 to seven going into that fourth quarter, and, and Kansas State ends up going down. But then, uh, of course, Avery Johnson on just two plays were able to get down the field and, and score late. And uh, Colorado, my goodness, I don't even know what to think about this team because they're four and two, but uh, Travis Hunter is banged up. I, I don't know what it was, a reported shoulder injury, but he didn't go in the game basically in the last uh, half of that uh, uh, of that matchup. And and uh, my goodness, I don't know what to think about this team right now. But Kansas State survives; they're going to stay in that uh, in that in those rankings and. They look pretty darn good, but you go into a, a, a hostile environment. Colorado still looks pretty darn good right now. I don't want to totally write them off, but uh, Coach Prime and his guys, they're dialed up right now, Mitch. That they are. And, you know, Colorado, Kansas State, that was a renewal of an old Big 8 rivalry. And, you know, I, I think one, one thing that was nice to see when you look at, you know, how these four corner schools are transitioning into the Big 12 as we wrap up Big 12 headlines you know, I think the transition has been a little bit of a mixed bag where you thought they were going to have maybe a lot of success because the Pac-12 was flying high uh, last year. But uh, it's been some tough physical matchups. And But I think what's been noteworthy is that they're going into these road venues uh, and even some of their own home venues have been hostile environments. I mean, that K-State-Colorado game was off the charts. It was sold out, capacity crowd. Like Folsom Field a few years ago was just – a graveyard. There was no energy, and Coach Prime has really ignited the crowds there. But I just—that's a good sign going forward for this league. Is that you want to always have those, you know, Big Twelve after dark capacity crowds, must see TV. I bet that game's going to have a massive TV rating when that number comes out because that was a, a you know entertaining football. Yeah, game it was a fun one to throughout. watch for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean that was it was a fun one to watch. But then they got to go face Arizona. 
And, uh, and Kansas State has to go to West Virginia, another hostile environment. They go into Morgantown and, and, and uh, yeah. West Virginia, Neil Brown, they're licking their wounds. And so maybe they go and they pop uh, Kansas State in the mouth next week. We'll, uh, we'll see. It's getting more interesting. We'll take a break here. We'll come back. This program brought to you by Macy's. Get the freshest fruits and vegetables from the local farms, your local favorite brands. Macy's, happy shopping. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We've got our sound roundup across the Big 12. Coming right up, stay with us right here, 97.5 VKSL Sports Zone and KSL News Radio.